and welcome back to Active Kids where we actively invest in your future. future. Whose future? future? Your, your future. future. My name is Jeanette Dielgaard. I am Maricel Stofberg. And we are so excited to share this awesome day with you. Maricel, what's yeah. our new theme for the week? Um, um, I think for the week is waffles. <coughs> it is plants. Pineapple. Plants. But okay, pineapple is like a plant Thank kind you. of But a waffle can be a plant thingy. as well. No, friends, no. Uh, unless somehow, by a miracle, a waffle plant grows. Then please Imagine do give it to Marisol. Imagine. Oh so if you guys want to become scientists and make a waffle plant, there you go. But anyway, we are focusing on the plants. Can you tell what? From the from the photo on the screen. Um, this looks like we will be focusing on um, like how a plant grows from like a baby until it's like a big plant. Yes. So she's so correct, guys. We're gonna focus on the life cycle of a plant. So from a little baby seed up to a big adult plant. Nah. So you guys should stay tuned and listen more. But anyway, we want to remind you guys that you can catch us every day on 9 a.m. on Face on the My Zone and Zoshi Facebook, Facebook pages. pages. Yes, and what's the other one? At 10 o'clock, you can catch us on One Up Two Television. Com. Yes, so fill in that in your browser, One Up Two dot com. And we also want to say thank you to our fun, cool friends, Innovations, for Whee! sponsoring these super cool, fun bean bags. So if you need anything for your party, contact them at info at kickstartnam dot com. But we're gonna sing a song. What are we gonna sing? Uh, can we sing? Um, Your body, girl. No, 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 no. Can we sing? Can we sing? Um, I'm a little teapot. Yes. Can we say I'm a little sunflower? Flowers, yellow and tall. These are my petals, petals and this is my, my stem. Leaves. Oh, well, my stem. leaves. Yeah, my petals and my leaves. Okay. When I get all happy, I rise up. Talk me over. And I'm fine. No. <laughs> um, talk me over and hear me shout. Yay! But why are we tilting a sunflower? Tilt me up or shake me around. Take me out and make someone else happy. No? Okay. We don't want to. <laughs> we're just going to be teapots. So we're just going to be teapots. Just going to be tea okay. teapots. We can be a teapot with like sunflowers painted on the teapot. Yes. Okay. Let's do this. Are you ready? Yes. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. This is my handle and this is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. This is my handle and this is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Wow. Yay! Thank you. He, and it's Monday. No, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday, meaning that it's arts and crafts. So Marisol is going to make the most beautiful thing for us on arts and crafts. So you guys totally have to stay tuned for that now. Enjoy. Bye. Hi everyone and welcome back to Art and Crafts. So today for Art and Crafts we will be making a sunflower. So what you'll need is you'll need some 
colored pencils. I have some scissors here. Remember when you use scissors, you need to ask your mommy and daddy for help. And then I also have some glue because I need to paste all of the pieces of my flower together. And I have some colored paper here. So I have some yellow, I have some green, and I have some white. So what you're gonna do is you're first gonna draw your sunflower. So I drew a sunflower a bit earlier. So I can show you guys, this is what I drew. Um, but the thing about your sunflower is you can literally draw it any way you want. I just drew it on with a pencil. So what I'm gonna do now is I am gonna cut out my sunflower. So I'll be cutting out all along the edges. And um, you'll be cutting and cutting and cutting. And what I love about sunflowers are that they are happy, happy flowers. Like whenever I think of happiness, ooh, my nose itches. Whenever I think of uh, sunflowers, I think of being happy because that's what a sunflower is because the sunflower is yellow and yellow is a very happy color. I think my favorite color is blue, but my second favorite color has to be yellow, all different types of yellow. And the thing about oh, sunflowers are that they grow towards the sun. That's why they call them sunflowers. So whenever a sunflower, because it has that big petals of it, the moment that you see it, the sunflower starts to look down, that means that, it, that it's not getting enough sun. So then you need to make sure your sunflower gets enough sun. And I also watched, I also watched a movie once where um, the girl sang a song about being a sunflower. And the little tune went, ta da ta da ta ta da 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 And I just love sunflowers. I think they're so pretty. And sunflowers also make you very, very happy. But the thing about any plant and any flower is you need to make sure that your flower, let me just cut it like this so I have some, and then I'm just gonna take away some of the yellow. Let's throw it away in my bin. Um, is the thing about a flower is you need to make sure that your flower gets enough uh, food um, because flowers also eat and that's like ground and compost and all the little plant medicine to make them big and strong. And there we go. So in the bin now, as you can see here, this is my little um, sunflower that I drew, but it's not done yet. Okay. So I'm taking away the yellow because I'm not using yellow anymore. So my yellow, I'll just be putting in my bin. So now I need some petals for my sunflower. So what I'm going to do is I am going to fold my green paper in half like this and fold. Then I'm going to draw a leaf on my uh, paper. So it's kind of just like this and like this. Okay. So, but I drew it on the fold here. So now I'm going to cut it out and you will see why. So I'm going to cut, 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 cut all along the little sides of my leaf. There we go, just like that. And now I'm done with the green in the bin you go. And now you will see I have two leaves. It kind of looks like glasses or like a, a what do you call it? A bow tie of something either way. So now I have white paper here. So now I need to paste my sunflower. So let's first paste our leaves. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of my glue and put it all along the edges. You don't need that much. So I'm just putting tiny bits of glue here and then I will be pasting my leaves right here, just like that. And now I'll put it, I'll be putting some glue here at the edges of my sunflower as well, just like this. Okay. And now I will paste my sunflower um, just like this. And now we're gonna press down so all the glue sticks. And we always put the cap of our glue back on. Remember, that's very important. And now I 
need a brown. Oops, is this brown? It could be brown. So now I'm going to draw the stem of my flower. So you need to draw your stem across the middle part of your leaf. And then it goes all the way down, all the way down like this. And then I'm just going to color it in. So it's a thick brown stem. There we go. Nicey, nicey, nice, thick and brown. I am almost done with my stem of my flower. So because this part is still a little bit wet from the glue, you'll have some trouble coloring it in, but it's okay. Okay, you see. And now what I wanna do is I am going to, um, my sunflower, the inside of my sunflower, I'm just going to outline the middle part. And then it usually has like little dots here. Just like this. And now I have a bin, which I will show you guys just now. So in my bin, I have more so uh, different types of colors so i'm going to use a black marker now and what i want to do is i just want to make some little small dots in the middle of my sunflower because this is where all the seeds are and um what i'll also do is i'm also going to outline the middle part of my sunflower and then just like that. And now what I also want to do is I just want to make my leaves, my sunflowers petals. So they're nice and separated like this. And then what I also want to do is I put a little V here. I don't know why. Since I was very young, I've always made my flowers like petals, my leaves like that. And now my leaf also needs a nice line in the middle. And then the way that leaves look when you open them up, they also have this little like stem running in the middle. And I'll do the same on this side. And just small little Vs. There we go. And that is it. And I'm going to call my sunflower um, sunshine. And hearts, just like this. And you should always sign at the bottom so people know who the painter or the author or the whatever you are is. And this is my, I'm just trying to get you guys to see, this is my little sunflower. And her name is Sunshine and she's beautiful. So you can do this with any different type of flower and just have fun. But until we see each other again next time, bye! You super talented, oh my god! Oh, thank you! <laughs> so now it's time for us to head over to Zoe and Zaki as they will be talking more and teaching us about the life cycle of plants. Whoa.
Hello, hello, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hooray! Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hooray! Hi friends, I miss you guys so much. My name is Zaki and I love all the plants and trees we have. Hi beautiful friends, my name is Zoe and I love how we can all look after our plants and plant new ones. And, and we, we are niece, niece and nephew. nephew. This week we're learning all about the life cycle of plants. The plant life cycle outlines all the stages of the life of a plant from the beginning of their life until the very end of their life. So where does the life cycle of a plant start? A plant starts its life cycle as a seed. But, 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 how does a plant grow from a small seed to a big plant? Inside the seed there's something called an embryo. Once the plant receives the best conditions, the seed will be able to germinate and grow. Um, 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 what do we call a baby plant? We call it a seedling. Oh, that's so cool. And after a plant is a seedling, does it become a toddler plant? No, Zaki. It'll directly turn into an adult plant. What does an adult plant do? Does it also go out to work and feed its, its, its babies in the house? No, Zaki. An adult plant has well-established roots with big leaves and beautiful flowers. Whoa! Zoe, to grow strong, we need healthy food and a lot of sleep. What does a plant need to grow big and strong like I am? Plants need four things to grow big okay. and beautiful. Can you think of anything that plants need to grow, friends? I know, I know, I know, I know. Do they also need their vegetables? No, Zaki, but like all humans, plants also need nutrition. But that comes in the form of fertilizer. But Ooh. fertilizer is not the main plant, the main things that a plant needs. Zaki, do they also need, I Zoe, do they also need water? Yes, they need enough water, but not too much as you can drown and kill the plants if they receive too much water. What? Really? They also need a lot of sunlight to grow optimally. Just like us? Yes, Zaki, just like us. Because without water, they will dry out and become bad looking. And it needs oxygen. Yes, so we just like us. Please, we're going to be singing a fun song with our friends now. Okay, get ready, friends. And, and a, a one, one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Seeds are planted deep, deep, deep. In the ground they sleep, sleep, sleep. Sunshine, sunshine, raindrops falling. Light, 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 gentle breezes blow. Blow and please begin to grow and grow. And grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. Don't you guys and girls think plants are super special and cool and we can grow more and more over and over again? Zaggy, what's our fun fact for today? And did you know that a bamboo is one of the fastest growing plants? It is over 1,500 species. Woo! Friends, I think it's time for us to go and do some homework. So that's all from us for today. We'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Welcome back guys! So now it is time for us to have some fun! Okay, so because today we're learning about the life cycle of plants, we are going to grow like plants. Yay! So it's going to be like a, um, a stretch slash a growing activity. Okay. So guys, we're going to start off really tidy, really small, like a small seed. So you really want to, you know, curl yourself up. And now we're growing. Let's grow little by little. Grow, grow, grow. Grow bigger and taller. And stretch. Okay, let's do it again. Let's grow again. And we're down. And now come up. Stretch, 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 stretch. So you guys can decide what plant you want to be. Yay! Yay! Okay, are we sunflowers, Maricel? Yeah, we're sunflowers. Okay, so now we're going to go to where the sun shines. Okay, <gasps> which side is the sun? Uh, wherever you want it to okay. be. Okay. We're going to stretch, stretch, stretch. Stretch to the sun. 
and feel the heat so you have to think that you're like a little plant La -di -da -di -da. and now it's dark let's go down again so we're gonna keep our petals we're holding them to ourselves and there we go and let's come up again it's daytime so let's greet the sun hello sun hello sun <coughs> and we stretch towards the sun and we grow 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 stretch 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 by itself we're growing taller ah! okay Whew. do you feel like a big plant yeah i feel like a big lady plant now yes so guys thank you so much for joining us you have to stay tuned for this Lesson. episode the lesson yes ah! and then we'll be back right after that enjoy Welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. to my zone online school my name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today our theme this week is water and before we get into any lessons boys and girls we know that we need to sanitize so let us take our sanitizer and we rub inside our hands around our hands in between our fingers on our wrists and our fingertips too. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be doing money and reading. Now boys and girls, let us go to our first exercise on page 21. On page 21, we are going to be doing money. Now, as you can see, we have some coins in front of us. Today, we will be looking for the one million dollar coin. Each of them have different pictures, but how do we know that this is the one million dollar coin? Well, the first thing we look out for is that bird. The bird on the one Namibian dollar coin is called an eagle. Then we look for the number one next to the bird. So once you find your one Namibian dollar coin, please circle it. And then when you have found all of them, you can count them. When you're done with this exercise, because I know you can do it by yourselves, you can move on to the next page, page 22. On page 22, we are going to be doing some reading. Now the reading we're going to do are the words that are linked to water. The first word we have is water. Water. The next word is rain. 
rain. Then the last word at the bottom is river. River. Well done! Now it's going to be your job to read these words with an adult at home. Take your time and make sure you point to the picture so that they know which one you are reading. Don't forget, the one at the top is water. Water. The one in the middle is rain. Rain. And the one at the bottom is river. River. Have fun boys and girls and I'll see you when you're done after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of 5 to 6 years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over 10 different languages. Boys and girls, we have now come to the end of our lesson, but I hope you had fun. Remember, if you don't know what to do, you can always ask an adult to help you. But make sure that you finish your work by yourself. So now that we are done with our work, it's very important for us to stay safe and sanitize. Remember, when we sanitize, boys and girls, we're trying to show the whole world how responsible we are. So sanitize every day so the germs can stay away. Now that we are done, I'm sure Soshi will come and join us before we say goodbye. Sashi, Sashi, oh, <laughs> there you are, Sashi. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye. <laughs>